Americans have called upon us to marshal the forces of decency, the forces of fairness, the battle to achieve racial justice and root out systemic racism in this country. I said at the outset, I wanted to represent this campaign to represent and look like America. We've done that. Now that's what I want the administration to look like and act like. For all those of you who voted for President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself. But now, let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies, they are Americans. I'm proud of the campaign we built and ran. I'm proud of the coalition we put together, the broadest and most diverse coalition in history. Democrats, Republicans, independents, progressives, moderates, conservatives, Young, old, urban, suburban, rural, gay, straight, transgender, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially for those moments, and especially for those moments where this campaign was at its lowest ebb, the African-American community stood up again for me. You've always had my back, and I'll have yours. Now this campaign is over, what is the will of the people? What is our mandate? I believe it's this. Americans have called upon us to marshal the forces of decency, the forces of fairness, to marshal the forces of science, and the forces of hope in the great battles of our time. The battle to control the virus, the battle to build prosperity, the battle to secure your family's health care, the battle to achieve racial justice and root out systemic racism in this country. And the battle to save our planet by getting climate under control. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and justice for all, including the black women who are often, too often, overlooked, but so often prove they are the backbone of our democracy. All the women who have worked to secure and protect the right to vote for over a century, 100 years ago with the 19th Amendment, 55 years ago with the Voting Rights Act, and now in 2020 with a new generation of women in our country who cast their ballots and continued the fight for their fundamental right to vote and be heard.